Hello everyone, welcome to day 20 verse of Mars Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is partitions label. Here in this question we are given a string and we need to divide this string into various parts such that each character appears to at most one single part. You can't have a character belonging to multiple parts and we need to return the list of integers representing the size of these parts that means the width of these parts. Here the input string is pretty long A B C A B A B C B A C A D E F E G H D E H I J K H K L I J So uh, it will be divided into three parts The first part would, width would be equal to 9 The second part width would be equal to 7 And the last part width would be equal to 8 And uh, Without further ado, let's quickly move on to the coding section and I'll be explaining this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the PPT. Lead code 763 partition labels. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's take the same example because it is pretty good in order to build your algorithm. Uh, in the first go, what we are going to do, we need to identify the range up till which each character belongs to. For example, what is the last index up till which A occurs? So A occurs up till 8th index, this one. What is the last index up till which B occurs? B index up till 5. C occurs up till 7. D occurs up till 14. E occurs up till 15. So these are the last indexes. I'm noting down the instances or the indexes at which each character occurs in the last f we have f occurs up till 11 then we have g so g occurs up till 13 then we have h h occurs up till 16 then we have i occurs up till 22 then we have j occurs up till 23 then we have k occurs up till 19 and we have h at 20 sorry this is 20 not 16 then we have l occurs up till 21 let's start the iteration we will be using two pointer approach in this question and as the basic of two pointer approach we will create two pointers one the start and other one named as end so let's get started the first character that we see is a and right now a happens to be at the 0th index what we'll do we'll identify the range up till which a occurs because that a should belong to the same part all a should belong to the same part what is the range of a what is the last index up till which a occurs it is 8 as a result of which the current width corresponding to 8 a becomes 8 8 so the ending pointer will point to 8 right now and what we will do we'll simply iterate over all the characters that lie in between and we'll check whether the ending pointer is getting updated or it's going beyond this range or not if it is not going beyond this range then we will make this as a single part otherwise we'll extend the ending pointer and continue the process so let's get started the first character that we see is b after a and what is the terminal index or the last index at which will b occurs it is 5 so the range will not be updated by virtue of 8 that we have already set let's proceed ahead next we again have a a ends up till 8 it remains the same next we have is b b ends up till 5 the the ending terminal remains the same next we see is c c ends up till 7 which is less than 8 as a result of it the ending terminal remains the same next we see is b b ending ends at 5 uh, the ending terminal remains the same next we see is a the ending terminal remains the same next we see is 7 a uh, c uh, the ending terminal remains the same and finally in the last character that we see is a and it ends at a the ending terminal remains the same now we can say that since we have iterated about all the characters within this range and the uh, and for each one of them the ending terminal wasn't updated we can simply partition this into a singular part the width of this partition would be equal to 
8 minus 0 plus 1 which turns out to be 9 and let's continue doing the same process for the next iteration as well since we have uh, divided this into one part what we will do we'll update our s pointer to end plus 1 and we'll reset our end starting ahead so right now start points to d and where does d end d ends up till 14 as a result of which my ending pointer gets updated to 14 let's again start the same iteration next we see is e e ends up till 15 which is beyond the ending pointer what we should do in such case the range is getting exceeded as a result of which we'll have to update the ending pointer to 15 this position let's proceed ahead next we see is f f ends up till 11 it is within the range pretty good so far next we see is e e and e ends up till 15 so right now ending pointer is also at 15 no change needed next we see is g g ends up till 13 no change needed next we see is d d ends up till 14 no change needed next we see is e and that the ending pointer corresponding to this remains the same again we are able to identify the next width which is this one 15 minus 9 is 6 6 plus 1 will give you the answer so end minus start plus 1 will give you the next width of partition which in this case will turn out to be 7 so the second partition is of width 7 let's proceed ahead let, let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and again we are going to do the same thing we'll start from end plus 1 because it's a fresh iteration and what do we see we see h and it ends up till 20 so ending will point over here let's proceed ahead we see i i ends at 22 it is way beyond our ending pointer we will have to update it so end now points here next we see is j j ends up till 23 we'll have to update our ending pointer over here and next we see is k k ends up till 19 h again up ends up till 20 then we have l l ends up till 21 within the ending pointer then we have i and j both ends up till this ending pointer the next would width would be equal to 23 minus 16 plus 1 which turns out to be 8 in totality we have identified three parts 9 7 and 8 which is in sync with our expectation and we'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here so let's get started with the coding section the time complexity of this approach is order of n and space complexity is constant time here i've created my answer variable and I created an end index array of size 26 because it contains only English characters. I start iterating over me a string and with each iteration, I update uh, the end index corresponding to the current character I allocate it with i. This will help me store the last index at which each character appears. Then I go ahead and create my i variable that will act as my start pointer. Start pointer. I am iterating over its length. I extract the start character I check what is the terminal index or its ending value what at what index does this character actually ends in my input string let's call it terminal index I restart the iteration over my terminal index and with each iteration I update it with math.max terminal index comma the current character into consideration the ending index of the current character into consideration given by j uh, once I am done with this I simply add it add my answer uh, that value would be equal to terminal index minus start index plus one and moving ahead i update i to terminal index plus one in the end i simply return the answer variable the time complexity here is order of n i'm restating it it from the look of it it may appear it is order of n square but it is not uh, the time complexity comes out to be 93% faster which is pretty good and space is also constant time this is of constant time so it doesn't contribute much to anything this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye